Come and check out what I plan to sow in October 2021. Hey YouTube, I'm Crystal of CrystalSewsAndStuff.com. Welcome back to the channel where I share sewing pattern reviews, sewing tips and techniques, and other fun content. So today I'm here to share with you what I plan to make in October. And first let me tell you what I'm wearing. This is the Adrian blouse by the Friday Pattern Company. And I did a review on this blouse as well as the dress that I made using the same pattern here on the channel. And I'll leave a link in the cards and in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen that. So anyway, I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I plan to make in October. But first, let me tell you um, about what's been going on. So I've been, um, September was pretty much a bust. I didn't get a lot sewn. I just made the three dresses for Project Dress the Girl, and that was it. I just been really swamped with all of the back to school stuff. And my kids are in three different schools, and now their activities have popped up. So I've been getting into a good flow of um, back to school. And then now Christopher, he was put on quarantine because another um, child on his bus um, had COVID. And so he's been home for the last two weeks. And um, as many of you know, he's autistic and sometimes he gets into a lot of things. And so he's been really busy and a little bit sad about um, not being able to go to school because he's been trying to go in the garage and get in the car so um, I can take him to school. So I've been running back and forth, making sure he's safe. Um, I'm not going into the garage and everything. He's been putting on his little bus seat belt to get on the bus because he's he just he's just so ready to go back to school. So he'll be going back on Monday. So I'm hope hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more sewing done in October. And I've also been trying to learn how to skate. So I've just bought some um, a new pair of skates. Hadn't really sewn in many many years but i went to my niece's birthday party and you know i decided to go ahead and skate and i was like i like this so i'm gonna buy my own skate so i've been trying to teach myself how to skate and i really haven't ever uh skated outside and so that's a whole new experience as well so those are the things that i've been up to recently so now let's get into what my october plans are so the first thing that I plan to sew is a jumpsuit for a wedding that I'm going to. So I've been invited to a wedding and um, the bride has asked that everyone wear black attire. And I have been thinking for months about what I'm going to wear to this wedding and it's kind of driving me nuts. And so I just settled on doing a jumpsuit because I wanted to wear something um, a little different that I hadn't worn before and so I just decided to go with a jumpsuit. And the pattern that I'm gonna be using is McCall's 8009 and this is a really cool um, jumpsuit and it is from 2019 so it's been out for a while but it's still in print. And it has three different views. It has um, a romper shorts view for view A. View B has um, long pants with a tie at the bottom and that's the one the model is wearing. And then view C has just flared, um, flared uh, uh, pants for, for it and it's sleeveless. And so that is the view that I plan to do is view C, the sleeveless version. And I'm going to wear that um, to the wedding because um, it's a... It's about a waterfront, and so I'm thinking it might be a little breeze, but I want to have the kind of look of a dress without being a dress. And so that's why I decided to go ahead and sew up view um, C. And I, if I don't like it, I could always just add this um, the ties at the bottom if I want to go ahead and add the ties. But it's really it's between view B and C, but I'm thinking more view C because I like the flared look and it give me that dress look without it being act an actual dress. And the fabric that I'm gonna be using is this really pretty satin fabric that I picked up from G Street Fabrics because the um, Maryland ASG, they had a um, scrap pickup at G Street Fabrics a couple of weeks ago. And I said, oh, I have a whole ton of scraps. So I donated like three huge bags of scrap fabrics and they donated to a school for little craft projects and um, some other uh, charities. But anyway, while I was down there at G Street Fabrics, I decided to go in and I saw this black fabric in the 297 bin. They have a area of discounted fabrics at the beginning, at the front of the store. And I found this really pretty black poly satin. And I think that would look so good with, with this pattern. So I've done a muslin for the bodice. And so I think I, sh I should be able to get this done fairly soon. So I'm really liking 
this fabric for this McCall's 8009. So the next pattern that I wanna go ahead and sew up is McCall's 8030. And this is a really cool shirt dress that was um, released in 2000. I just never got a chance to sew it. And I just really love how they play around with the stripes on it. I mean, they have, like in the, this picture, she has on stripes going vertically this way and then stripes, um, I mean, horizontally at the shoulders and then vertically here um, on the main part of the fabric. I wanna do something like that with the fabric that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna be using this beautiful striped fabric from Melanated Fabrics. It's been sitting around for a couple of months. And so I just wanna go ahead and sew it up. And I think the colors are really pretty for fall. At first I was gonna do something more summery, but I've been thinking about it and I was like, this look, would look better for fall. So I decided to go ahead and pair this fabric up with um, McCall's 8030. And I think I'm gonna do the maxi dress version or the midi. I haven't decided yet which one um, I want to do, but I definitely want to pair these two patterns up together for this beautiful fabric. And the name of the fabric is Savannah Print Stripes in the color Brick. And I have three yards of this very pretty fabric. And they do still have some on the website. And I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go ahead and pick that up. And then the last thing I want to sew up is using this, as far as clothing makes, is using this really pretty checkered denim that I picked up from Nicole Elise Fabrics. And she sells her fabrics in four yard bundles. And um, I decided to go ahead and pick up this really pretty checkered denim fabric. I just like this. I just like this for a nice casual dress. And I haven't completely decided which pattern I wanna make for this fabric. Um, so let me show you my two options that I'm thinking of. So the first pattern I was thinking about using for this um, checkered denim is McCall's 7120. And it is such a, a very simple learn to sew pattern. I just wanted something really simple because um, of the checks, the checkers. And I want to be able to match them up as closely as I can, but without a lot of different pattern pieces. I think I might do View B, which has the little um, arm ties on it. And I think that is really cute. And I will probably still do probably inseam pockets instead of the patch pockets on the front, just so I wouldn't have to break up um, the print or match it. So anyway, I think that's the view I'm gonna do if I use this pattern. And so the other option that I thought of was McCall's 8212. I really like this kind of loose fitting dress as well. Wouldn't be a lot of matching. Um, on it either. I've done the hat and I, I'll leave a link to that video if you haven't seen the um, tutorial of this cute hat and I made a nice um, sun hat for the garden with a uh, view A of this pattern but I was thinking I might use this pattern up as well to do um, view B or C. I'm thinking C but I'm not sure um, more likely C for this pattern. Um, and I like this pattern because it has raglan sleeves um, and they are a little bit gathered at the top. And these has a really simple lines and I do like the neckline on this pattern. So it's between these two. <laughs> it's between these two for this pattern. Let me know what you think in the um, comment section, which one you think would be better for this one because this one's probably kind of third on my list so I'll have time to <laughs> after looking at you guys' responses which one you guys would think would look cuter in this um with this checkered denim fabric. So the last thing I want to sew is not a garment. I want to go ahead and refresh my um pillows in my living room and so I picked up I think four yards of this nice um home deck fabric to go ahead and redo um the pillows in my living room because they are just looking kind of busted. And um, my my couch is a teal colored couch. And so I thought that this um, pretty teal would go well with it. I have some, um, the, the couch cushion that I have is a similar print to this. And when I saw this, I said, oh, that would totally match my couch. And so I went on ahead and picked up 
a couple yards of this in the um, discount section over there, G Street Fabrics. So if you're in the area and you want to pick check out G Street Fabrics, you definitely should always go to that room first because they have some great deals mm -hmm. on fabric. So anyway, that's everything I wanted to go ahead and share with you today. My plans for October. I'm thinking I should get on a better roll <laughs> this month because um, Chris will be back in school and I'll have more time during the week to sew while the kids are at school. Um, but thank you so much for hanging in there with me and su supporting the channel and tuning into the videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you won't miss any future videos. All right, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.